Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. My In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the solemnity of the birth of St. John the Baptist, the precursor of the Lord, I the one who introduced the Lamb of God to the people. Let us ask the intercession of, the, of this saint, of this blessed man, John, and let we ask that through his model, we may also be people introducing the Lamb of God to others. Today also, the city of Manila celebrates its... Uh, uh, foundation day let us pray for our city that they that it may have good leaders and good uh, citizens to prepare ourselves for this eucharistic celebration let us humbly acknowledge our sins and ask god's pardon and mercy i confess to Almighty God, and to you, to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless, you, bless you, we adore you, we glorify, you, we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God Heavenly, Heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the, the Father, Father you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, the world. Have, mercy have mercy on us. You take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of the world. receive our prayer. You are seated, you are seated at, the at the right hand, hand of the Father, of the Father. have, have mercy, mercy on us. For you, For you alone, alone are the Holy One, one. You, alone you alone are the Lord, are you alone, you alone are the are Most High, High Jesus Christ, Christ. with the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O 
O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual choice and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arms. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength. Yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have proved me. You know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew full well nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depth of the earth, I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king, of him God testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was, re was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, son of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing to us, his word of salvation has been sent. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for His word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for the tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation in Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In the whole liturgical year, the calendar of the church, there are only three births that we celebrate, three birthdays. One, of course, is the birth of our Lord on December 25. It reminds me also that there are only six months before we celebrate Christmas. The second is the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary on September 8. And on the third is the birth of John the Baptist, which we celebrate today. The rest of the saints in the calendar are celebrating their birth in heaven, meaning the day of their death. There are only three births being celebrated in the church liturgically. But my dear sisters and brothers, every birth, every birthday should be a celebration of thanksgiving. Ang bawat kaarawan ay dapat na maging pagdiriwang ng pasasalamat. Unang-una, bakit? Unang-una, every birth is a celebration of the gift of life. Every birth is a celebration of the gift of life. Every year that is added to your birth, to your age, is a celebration of life. That's why I do not understand sometimes people who do not want no, their ages to be known. Huh? Pag tinanong mo, ilan taong ka na? 
T5, T9, no? Yung mga babae, hindi naman lahat, no? Bawal na bawal, tatanungin. Ilang taon na siya? Ayaw ipagsabi. Eh, kita mo naman eh, sa kulubot ng balat eh, sa mukha eh. But seriously, we should be thankful that another year is added to us. Because not all people are given the chance to live longer. Yung iba nga, gustong-gustong mabuhay pa ng matagal. Pero ang iba sa atin, ikinahihiya yung taon na nadadagdag sa kanyang edad. My dear brothers and sisters, every birthday is a celebration of the gift of life. And therefore, every birthday should be joyful. But not only that, every birthday should be a celebration of a life well lived. Ang bawat kaarawan ay dapat na maging pagdiriwang ng isang buhay na hindi sinasayang. Nagpapasalamat tayo sa pagbibigay sa atin ng buhay ng Diyos. Pero dapat magpasalamat din tayo sa mga tao na ang buhay na ibinigay sa kanila ng Diyos ay hindi nila sinasayang. Ginagamit nila sa maayos. I think that is why we are celebrating the birth of John the Baptist today. One, the birth of John the Baptist is a gift that freed his parents from shame. Binigyan sila ng Diyos ng anak. Matanda na sila, pero sa kabila ng kanilang katandaan, sila'y pinagkalooban ng anak at inalis ang sumpa sa kanila bilang mga mag-asawang balo. Alam niyo sa kultura ng mga Hudyo, ang mag-asawang walang anak ay mag-asawang isinumpa. Nakakahiya. Pero yung pagkakalob sa kanila ng Diyos ng anak ay parang isang pagpawi sa kanilang kahihiyan. Kaya nga, sila'y tuwang-tuwa. Tuwang-tuwa ang kanilang mga kamag-anak. Tuwang-tuwa si Elizabeth. Tuwang-tuwa si Sekarias. Pero hindi lamang sila nagdiriwang dahil may isang batang ipinanganak. Tayo'y nagdiriwang No, ng kaarawan ni Juan Bautista sapagkat ang buhay ni Juan Bautista ay naging isang handog sa Diyos. At tinupad ni Juan Bautista ang misyon na ibinigay sa kaniya ng Diyos hanggang kamatayan. Siya'y binigyan ng misyon na handa at ipakilala ang kordero ng Diyos, si Jesus, sa mga tao. Siya ipinadala para ihanda, ihanda ang daraanan ng Panginoon at tinupad niya yung misyong iyon. The parents of John the Baptist were celebrating the birth of John because they have been freed from shame. We are celebrating the birth of John the Baptist because he, John, served the mission given to him. Every birth is a celebration of life, but every birth should be a life well lived. Recently, I was invited to celebrate a Mass with uh, some religious sisters in their house. There were about five of them. Without me knowing the date that I chose to celebrate Mass with them was the birthday of one of them. 
She was she is 91. 91. And we were very happy because she reached 91. But the reason of joy is not only because she is 91. Others are older than than her. But I guess the real reason why we celebrated her birthday was that almost two-thirds, two-thirds of her life were spent in mission. Madre, misyonera, iniwan ang Pilipinas, nagpunta sa ibang basa, ipinadala sa ibang basa, doon naglingkod. Halos two-thirds ng kanyang edad ay ginamit sa paglilingkod sa simbahan. Yun ang halimbawa ng isang buhay na ginamit ng maayos. Maybe we should ask ourselves, am I using well the gift of life given to me by the Lord. Ang mga tao ba sa paligid ko'y natutuwa kapag ako'y ipinagdiriwang ng aking kaarawan? Katulad ba ni Juan Bautista, ipinagdiriwang ba ng mga taong kapaligid natin ang ating birthday? A birth, every birth, is a celebration of life. But every birth should also be a life well lived. Amen. Please stand. Together we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and in, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the, On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And, and he seated, seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Father Almighty. From there, From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. John the Baptist was called from the first moment of his life to announce the coming of the light to the nations, the hope of the world. In the joy of this feast, let us make our prayers to God, saying, O God, be gracious to us. O God, be gracious to us, that the Church may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the message of salvation to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, oh God, be gracious, be gracious to, to us. us. That the leaders of the nation may be instruments of the truth and justice and lead their people in the way of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh oh God, God, be gracious, be gracious to, to us. us. That we may come surely to the end to which our faith leads the salvations of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, God, be gracious, be gracious to, to us. That the poor and the suffering may take fresh heart in the promise of Christ's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, oh God, be gracious, be gracious to, us. to us. That the lamp may take away the sins of the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, oh God, be gracious, be gracious to, us. to us.
Father of time and eternity, you search our hearts and discern our needs before we ask. Aided by St. John the Baptist, in your mercy, hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of Him who both foretold the coming of the world's Savior and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he lived for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, especially John the Baptist, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang nilikha, ipinaglihing walang sala, pusong dalisay dakila, Maria inanang awa. Thank you.